Hi, welcome to Ricardo's Crossing. Okay, I just want to try something a little different. Okay, for me, I don't normally do this. Um, zodiac Tarot goes. So let's start with the Aquarius. Let's just pull a month um, overview. So this is just an overview for the month of March. Okay, for the month of March, let's have a look at the Tarascope for Aquarius. Okay, card is Knight of Wands. So to me, Knight of Wands is the sense of, this could be a month for you of wanting to move ahead it's like you're ready and raring to go you've got the swift movement um, it's ready to do with creativity ambition energy vitality um, even sexuality passion creative desires all those things seem really really important for you for the month of march 2022 so this is to me is all about moving forward with a sense of um, passion, desire, creativity. Um, maybe someone arrives in your life who is creative, who's very um, ambitious. He um, is very passionate about what he, he or what they want in their life. They are very creative, very art. Um, to me, they seem very sort of... Um, artistic crafty type of energy very spiritual very spiritual and um, there's a real spiritual energy about them as well so this to me for the month of march for aquarius okay so let's have a look what's next next we look at pisces so for Pisces, for the month of March, let's have a look, what are we going to pull for you? I'm using the Waterfall Tarot. Well, so for Pisces, we're looking at Seven of Pentacles. So Seven of Pentacles to me is this whole thing about um, what do you want to bring into your life? What do you want to harvest? What do you actually want to um, move through into your journey? What seems really, really important to you in regards to your finances, maybe your material aspects, maybe security, um, home life. You know, what do you want to bring into your home life at this time? Or what do you want to bring into your health? Um, anything that's sort of earthy, down to earth, sort of pentacle type energy. This is what we're bringing in. We're reflecting upon what's important. We're contemplating what we want to bring into our life right now. What do we want on our path and our journey what seems of value to us right this minute that's what we're going to be thinking about for the month of March for Pisces thinking about what do we want to bring into our life at this time what what gives us security what enables us to have the finances that we desire this is what seven of Pentacles is for Pisces this month for the month of March Okay, so let's have a look at Aries. What's going to be for Aries? Aries, we've got Ten of Pentacles. Okay, for Aries may find themselves with a bit of a windfall. They might find they've inherited some money or maybe they've inherited something else from their family. Aries is also with this Ten of Pentacles. It feels like everything's sort of coming together. It feels like there's this abundance, this wealth of um, finances, security, health um, could be related to any area of your life, really, where that abundance seems to be flowing or coming together quite well. It's just about now it's about learning to maintain it. Now that you've got it, um, how do you maintain that health or that wealth um how do you have everything that's come together in this moment how do we keep it which seems really really important so there does seem to be a sense of security in regards to the situation as well for aries so it's an interesting month to reflect upon you know what what coming together what seems to be secure what seems to be the sense of completeness and yet you know that there's Opportun new opportunities coming as well. So that's Aries. 
Okay, so what's next? Taurus. What's available for Taurus? What's going to happen for Taurus during the month of March 2022? What are we going to reflect on for March for Taurus? Taurus. Okay, we have the Hierophant. So this could, for Taurus, you could be thinking about your spirituality, your faith, your maybe um, how you react in tradition, you know, what do you expect in a traditional way. Maybe you think of things more in a traditional family way or a traditional spiritual way. There's something that's influencing you in regards, or maybe for Taurus during March, you may be going back to school, back to education. Could be about learning something new, or maybe you're teaching or sharing knowledge with others. So this could be definitely be about your own spirituality and development, learning, study. Can um, be about your education in some way. So there you are for the month of March, the Hierophant for Taurus. Okay, what's next? Gemini. Let's have a look. What's Gemini? Whoa. Okay. For Gemini, we have a few cards have popped out. So very, very quickly, it's got like the High Priestess. Okay, so Gemini is going to be a pretty full-on month for you. For you, I feel like secrets are going to be revealed. It's all about going to be wounded, hurt, and allowing yourself to be able to communicate or nurture the truth the facts of the situation so it does feel like some secrets are being revealed it's going to be quite hurtful you could be wounded in the situation but it's about you being able to speak your truth being able to explain clearly how you feel in this situation so it's an interesting month for gemini as they have the high priestess the page of cups and the Queen of Swords, being able to speak your truth, being able to communicate clearly the truth um, that seems really, really important, being able to nurture your intuition, um, could be the fact of, could be a month of you using your intuition or the ancient knowledge that comes from within you, and being able to um, deal with those emotions within oneself you might find yourself being a bit of an empath and finding yourself speaking quite clearly how you're feeling so that's something to think about for gemini for march 2022 okay so what's next we have cancer so for cancer for the month of march what are we focusing on here Okay, it could be about awakening one's own spirituality, could be a sense of feeling like you are woke, you are awakening up from a deep sleep. Maybe you feel as though you're being, or you can now be authentic, um, have a sense of integrity in the way that you are within oneself, the way that you show yourself to others. It could be about bearing all to others as well. This could be a month when you find yourself needing to blow your own trumpet. could be really, really important as well. But I do feel it could be a month of acting with discernment, not with judgment. So for Cancer, judgment is your card. So it could be really important for you not to be too judgy about a situation, but to act with discernment, which is really, really important. Okay, so that's it from me for Cancer for March. Okay, let's have a look at Leo. Okay. Oh, okay. So we've got a couple of cards here. We have seven of wands. So, so Leo might find themselves needing to stand up for their convictions with choices yet to be made. It does feel like there's some choices yet to be made. The world's your oyster. So being able to stand up for what you believe in is really, really important. If you're a Leo for March, Making sure that you stand up for your um, for your truth, which is really really important. There may be some battles that you need to um, defend yourself, if you like, because you know that the that anything is absolutely possible. The world's out there for you to explore, and it's up to you to stand up for what you believe in. So that's really important for Leos. 
Okay, next we have Virgos for March 2022. Oh, okay, so we have Virgo, you may find yourself weighed down, very heavy. Feels like there's a lot of things weighing you down at the moment. It really is about a commitment to be able to push through that sense of heaviness to come out on the other side with opportunities, with drive, motivation. You might be finding yourself very lethargic, very, it's very, very hard to move forward. You're pushing, 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 um, but this is a reminder to keep going. There are new opportunities awaiting for you. You just have to move through this heavy thing, what burdens. Maybe it could be about asking for some help to enable you to look for opportunities for you to move ahead, Virgo. So you might find yourself very much weighed down by what's been happening for you. Okay, so that's Virgo for March 2022. Let's have a look at Libra. Libra. Okay, Libra, we have Ace of Wands. So for you, there could be a breakthrough. A breakthrough in something that you've been pushing towards. Libra, for March 2022, it could be a real chance for you to really think about the plans and ideas that you've had in regards to creative projects. Um, maybe it could be related to a new passion, something that's that you're passionate about, that you have desires for. It's going to give you a sense of new energy, a sense of renewal, rebirthing in a way, a sense of renewal coming through. It really is about unlocking that breakthrough for yourself being able to get through those tough times and move through so that you're able to make the choices or move forward in the path that you desire so this is going to be a quite an important month for you libra as you really look at this um, being able to break through the difficult times or through that block that's been keeping you back that could be really really important Okay, Scorpio, you're next for what lies ahead in March 2022. So this could be a month of celebrations for you. You've got three of cups here, Scorpio. So there could be a birthday, an anniversary, a wedding, um, a congratulations in some way. It could be a passing of an, of an exam results. It could be all sorts of things that require you to celebrate in some way, maybe spend time with like-minded souls, feel like you're supported with um, those that are like-minded or emotionally connected to you in some way. So it seems like quite a celebra celebratory month for you. So get ready to let to live, live life to the fullest, Scorpio. This could be really important for you to just Take some time with some like-minded friends and just enjoy the moment. Don't get too wound up in anything else. Just enjoy the moment. Okay, Sagittarius. For you, for the month of March 2022, what could we for you? Sagittarius. Let's have a look. Oops, I saw that pop through there. Okay, motherhood or mother figure coming into your life. Maybe this is a reminder to, um, maybe you're so busy taking care of everyone else, you're forgetting about yourself. This could be a reminder to see the beauty that surrounds you at this time, Sagittarius. So this could be a month for you being fertile, so being creative and giving birth to something new. Maybe you've got a new project on the way, a new creative project, a new adventure. You know, there's something that you need to be, get creative with in some way. Um, maybe you're being the creator, which is, could be really important. So you're able to um, have this sense of energy around you that is really the creatrix. Um, it's so important for you. It could be a birth of a child too. Somebody, it's not necessarily you giving birth, but you definitely is. You might find yourself mothering around the, the mother or mothering around 
um, the baby, even though you may not be the actual mother, you may be a mother figure in the baby's life. Um, that could be an important aspect as well, Sagittarius. So this is a real mothering type energy coming through in some way. Um, it could be a fur baby, not necessarily a, a human baby, but a fur baby in some way. So definitely feels like there's a mothering aspect to the month of March for you, Sagittarius. Okay, Capricorn. What do we have for you today? Whoa. Okay, we've got a couple of cards. We're looking at the moon energy. So we're looking at what are you afraid of? What are you holding on to that does not serve you well? I feel like you're like your, your own worst enemy or this, an enemy around you and you're really holding on to that that energy. Um, it doesn't really serve you well at this time. Maybe it's about looking beyond the illusion in some way. Um, being able to tame the wild side. So it might be time to break away from what you're holding on to. Try to sort of let it go, release, let go. Um, also, this can be a reminder to look at our emotions. Okay, our emotions. And maybe we need to put them aside at some stage. You know, try not to hold on to our emotions too tightly, um, Capricorn. So this might be an important month for you to look at your emotions. Look at um, what you're actually holding on to physically as well in your journey and your path over the month. So yeah, it could be something really, really important for you to look at. So that's Capricorn for your zodiac telescopes with the moon and four of pentacles. Okay, that's it for telescopes for March 2022. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to try and do this each month, so hopefully I will remember to do this at the beginning of each month. Um, so that's it from me with the Waterfall Tarot. I did show the cards of time for the so for the sun signs. All very interesting. So that's it from me. Take care and blessed be.